Hi kitties, welcome to Spirit Kitty Tarot. We are doing a timeless pick a pile reading. Let's get started. Pick your pile and of course check out the um, timestamps down below or in the description box. And of course we will be answering three questions at the end of each pile. We are exploring the dark side of your relationships to see what is happening in your life, how to deal with things that you are having trouble in dealing with. And um, let's see, we have in the, we are doing, of course, now the past row. I'm trying to change up the spread a little bit just to keep you guys interested. So the, these are going to be, this is going to be the past row, just to get a sense of what's happening in your life. Might be things that have happened in the past month or have already happened to you. And now, <clears throat> sorry, we now begin the prediction. So what are things that are going to happen for you? So we have in the past row, four of pentacles. There is growth in terms of finances in your life you are building things, new things, and it has um, growth potential, but it's going to take time, and you do feel that it is taking more time than you envisioned it to, and you're kind of becoming a little impatient, but you're, you are along for the ride, you are working on this thing. With the Three of Swords, there is a disappointment there is something that has potentially disappointed you and with the emperor it's possible that it is someone that came into your life very slowly but you feel that they demand a certain type of attention they need you to pay attention to them and they have distracted you from certain things in your life that you were aiming for with the eight of cups it is a relationship that brings a lot of past traumas for you you are passionate about this person and it's possible that this is a karmic connection they are reflecting potential traumatic things back to you and they have the, that familiarity that connection of familiar experiences so you guys are connecting, but it's also triggering for both of you to be around each other because you have such similar, <laughs> such similar tragic, tragic events that have happened in your lives. So you are constantly mirroring each other's traumas back to each other. So let's see what is going to be happening for you in the near future. We have the Queen of Wands. This is you trying to gain confidence. This is you trying to be assertive and affirm things to yourself that you needed to. This is you bringing yourself back to who you want to be and who you see, saw yourself as really to a normal state, your usual self. And um, with the Ace of Pentacles, it comes with you wanting to go back to um, financial professional life that you were working towards financial things that you were working on and it might it might be possible that you had taken a small break from things so your momentum had been broken something has happened in your life that has shaken you and now you are bringing you're trying to bring yourself back with the two of pentacles you are juggling between two things you are juggling between two aspects of your life things that are you are passionate about it might be a professional life and something that you hold passion for it might be a hobby or it's just might be something that you are passionate about but it's not your main income source so you kind of put it aside but you are equally involved in that equally interested in doing it and you put a time aside for that with the ten of cups um, there is turbulence in your emotional relationships, your personal relationships, people that you are close to 
they are distant or you are distant there is something that you feel a distance between a disconnect between people that you love people that you're close to and let's see why that is with the judgment card in reverse there is a lack of conversations that are happening there is a lot of things that you are in your head about you feel that they are feeling this way so you're assuming there is a lot of assumptions going on you are assuming for them in your head without conversing so there is a lack of communication with this these people or this person whoever you are distant from with the death card we are now trying to bring this chapter to a close we are trying to move towards a rebirth and it's i'm saying this that um, in a way because in this way because i think that you are actually manifesting this change you're manifesting this rebirth in yourself and you're moving towards new ground and you're actually looking forward to starting a new chapter with the nine of swords it is anxiety <laughs> anxiety that comes back it is um you feeling down again your energy is really low you're feeling disappointed and also um there is something about circumstances not being in your favor and why is that happening let's see with the eight of swords we have disparity really it's it's about how you feel that life is being unfair to you right now things are not going complications keep arising you are going from one complication to another so you're jumping into <laughs> from the pan to into the fire so that's kind of your situation right now you're moving in a in a trance really from one complicated situation to another with the knight of so wands this is someone that steps in and they kind of help you out in a way that you didn't expect this is going to be somewhat surprising this person comes in unexpectedly and um, they're going to help you in a way and um, it's not that they are going to be your savior in this situation i want you to know that that's not the situation it's they're just a lending hand in a way that they're supportive but you are of course the main person that's dealing with the situation they're just supportive they're going to help you um, deal with something but it's just going to be a supportive role let's not think that they are sweeping you off your feet because that's not happening in this case with the six of cups um, we have some complications with a love offer and um, it's it's a long um, long pause I, I don't know why what I'm saying but there's something that you've been in this relationship for a long time and it's been on and off for a while you are distant but it's not it, it hasn't ended and you feel it's just going downhill so there's some situation that you're stuck in you feel stuck you feel that it just doesn't come to a close this situation ship let's see with the page of cups in reverse this person isn't communicating with you 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 are waiting for them to communicate with you and um, so you are not communicating with them you're waiting for them to communicate with you and um, there is something about letting them go but you need them to let you go first i don't know what's happening but in this situation you want them to let go of you first with the high priestess um this is you trying to this is your unconscious side giving you messages it is giving you insight about how to tackle the situation how to really um handle this this person even in certain situations you need to 
there's something about you have dealt with the situation before you know this person very well and you need to understand this person rather than just um, think about what you're expecting from them because there's something about this person that you need you are aware of you're just trying to you you're blinded about this situation you you are staying in that denial so you have the insight you're just not focusing on it because you want things to to be um to happen in a certain way and that's that's not in in an ideal world that would happen but in your situation you need to bring yourself back to reality of the situation with the three of pentacles we are in a hypnotic um, state we are focusing on the good sides of what we want the change to be you are moved on from this connection you've moved on you're actually moving towards new plans there there are new opportunities that you're looking towards and um, there is material things that you have your sights on you're moving towards them and in your mind you've moved on and physically you are still stuck in that situation because this person hasn't communicated with you you haven't communicated with them and um, you've mo emotionally moved on but they don't know this yet with the king of cups you're finally going to be talking to this person and it's in the near future but with the near future um, it can also mean it might happen in the next month but i am getting that it is by the end of this month this conversation is happening and um the conversation how does that go but they're going to be really emotional about this conversation whatever this is they're going to um to start talking about how they feel about you and um with the strength card the universe is telling you to be patient with this person and it is telling you to act with a lot of calmness and inner strength and you have the insight how to deal with this person you know them well so you just need to um again understand them before you go into this you need to again do an introspective <laughs> analysis of what this person would do with the page of swords in reverse we have um decision making that isn't happening you are waiting for them to decide this whatever this is but they aren't doing that they are um there's a, something about them wanting more time for themselves they they are um what is what's the phrase that they use um they are trying to make you give them more time so there's something about um asking for more time there they are again and again asking you that we can work this out you should give me more time with the moon card it is your internal mother it's your internal emotional side that you're reconnecting with and you're not thinking logically now after this conversation you are overwhelmed with what you feel you are now understanding what you want and it's it's the physical um aspect of the situation that you don't want to delve in anymore because it is overwhelming you it is tensing you up and you just are coming back to what you feel about the situation and there's a disconnection between what you want and how you've moved on from the situation and how the physical world is really still in that stuck in in that situation where you you are stuck with this person with the justice card things go your way by the next month things are going to be going your way and um whenever you're watching this of course if you're watching it right now when this is uploaded then of course then this message is for you right now and with the justice card um things are going to go in your favor and finally you will breathe a sigh of relief and things are going to be moving forward from this situation the situationship will
kind of <laughs> relieve itself somehow and you will kind of come out of this in one piece <laughs> i keep saying kind of but i don't mean it kind of you are going to with the six of wands it's um it is going to be um, hard for you to come out of this and um, there's going to be a lot of healing that you will have to do. They are people that are supportive of you but there's no one of course that can really understand how you're feeling with the Knight of Swords. There are a lot of things that you will have to fight for and um, in your, this case there isn't some other, there isn't a knight in shining armor that's coming for you. With the knight of swords you are that knight you are the person that is reclaiming their life and you are going to be more assertive and you are going to be more in control of your life with the ace of wands we are now more confident we are now reassured of ourselves and our ability to to have all of the things that we want we are now determined and with the seven of cups we are daydreaming about the things that we want and setting time aside to actually regain all of those um, those dreams that you had. You're trying to now understand how you can actually go about them to manifest them into the real world and it will take time but and it will come with a lot of um, come with a lot of um, pain first because there are going to be certain disappointments that you will face because you are now thinking really big things and you're coming out of this situation ship and you want good things in your life but of course it will come with time and there is divine timing to everything but you will be moving towards it you want what you want and you are going to be moving towards these things with the king of pentacles by the mid of um, next month there are things that start to happen you are now moving towards things and you have manifested the things that you wanted and um, you kind of are moving towards not kind of you are moving towards i have to stop saying kind of you are moving towards things that you desired and uh, very efficiently actually you manure these things into your life not just manifest it's you are now working towards these things very actively and proactively you are um, actually catching a lot of momentum you have now a certain amount of stability that you wanted whatever opportunity that you get by the end of this month it will be good for you so there you have it we are now answering um sorry we are seeing what we have from your guides for you messages from your guides with the butterfly card we have the soul we are actually um seeing this in you already in this reading you were reconnecting with yourself and with the butterfly card you are going to be whatever this time um is by the end of one month for you of the time frame i'm giving you is one month you will be in a very peaceful mindset you will be um, coming out of this this um, situation ship and you will be coming out of, on the other side much better than you expected and with the hair card it is cycles so it is a new cycle that you're experiencing it is regrow it's rebirth and um, it's procreation of good things and it can also of course mean motherhood and um, bringing new life into the world of course it's um, it doesn't have to be um, about um, <laughs> procreation it can just be about how you you are bringing good things in your life that you wanted things of your heart are coming into the world for you to love and to experience in this life to the fullest with the bull card it is sacrifice you've sacrificed a lot in your life things for what um, what you wanted you've sacrificed for your desires and wishes and you are bringing good things in your life because you have sacrificed it is karmic justice to a certain degree that you are receiving and I hope this helps and I hope it goes really well for you <laughs> so whatever questions you have think about them if you need to pause the video please do 
and let's answer your questions. question to the first question of yours five of swords um, it's a maybe it's not a yes or a no it's right in the middle and um, there is one hand that is tied up so you feel you are stuck but you also have strength enough and opportunity enough to defend yourself to come out of this and um, intact and you can do that it's just that you are feeling debilitated you are feeling stuck but you're not really stuck you know that you're not so whatever your situation is you can come out of it very easily if you will it with the six of swords we are moving towards a new place we are leaving something behind and um, it's of course stealing um, the swords that would have been um, used against you so um, you are salvaging the situation for yourself and you have not only defended yourself you have removed the obstacles in your way things that could be used against you so in terms of a yes or a no it is um it's not completely a yes but it is leaning towards a yes so whatever obstacles you have if you are asking about something like that then the answer is that you can definitely um, salvage the situation you can definitely handle it very well and um, come out of it better on the other side with the fool the third question um, the answer is a yes and you are optimistic about this you're excited about this situation it is a leap of faith that you are setting out for um, to do and um, you are definitely um, equipped for it it's just just be careful be cautious enough because you don't know what is on the other side so there you have it now charm casting for you let's see what we have i'm just gonna shuffle this okay we have the owl totem and this is wisdom this is you seeking wisdom from within and without from the spiritual realm you are seeking guidance and um of course this is the message here is you have to observe you have to um, know that you can seek the answers from yourself or you can really find them if you are looking for them you just have to be observant you just have to look out for them they are there they're, they're very much available to you so i hope this helps pile two let's see what we have for you This is going to be the past um, row we will be seeing what we have um, faced already and then seeing things that are going to be happening okay with the knight of chalices um, in the past situation we had experienced someone coming in and um, they were really enthusiastic about excited about being with us they were um, affectionate overtly affectionate they were expressive about their love and with um, they might be someone that you you're someone you knew knew them and um, they might have set you up with them or you met them through them and um, you were constantly not constantly but um, sometimes often um, you were meeting that person with your friend or someone that you knew and um, that's how it started with the queen of swords we have um, someone who was decisive and um, didn't really want this situation uh, ship anymore relationship connection anymore and um, they did the right thing for themselves and they cut someone out so who is this whether it's you or them 
let people find out with the seven of swords there is someone um that is involved with two people someone that they are actually connected to someone they are in a relationship with and they are there's someone else that they have their sights on so let's see for the um the present or the future row um this is going to be the future not the present so with the this is going to be your recent past so um with the princess of pentacles i'm sorry the the light just went out um the princess of pentacles we have someone that is communicating back and forth with you and um you are actually this person no you are communicating with this person and um with the two of swords there are two people that are stuck in battle they're stuck in this battle of wills and um with the queen of pentacles there is someone that is stable this someone is older they've had a good um they've had a good life they've had um somewhat of a financially stable life with the <laughs> i'm not really getting into who this is and so I'm, I'm going to clarify that with the queen of pentacles this is someone that's connected to you um they are older they might be even a mother figure and um if not just someone that's older than you wiser and someone that's connected to you they're close to you um with the two of swords your connection with this person became somewhat a test of wills they were constantly challenging you um and um uh, it was it became like a, a a constant back and forth of what the other person wanted what you wanted and um with the queen of pentacles there was someone older that stepped in and um i don't know what the per this person's role was we will find out with the six of chalices you found them um no this was you um fantasizing about your life with this person and the version that you saw them as before it kind of became just a fantasy afterwards and um let's see what happened with the two of chalices your communication with this person before um when you started was really um you two coming together understanding each other and seeing each other whole you were seeing um this person completely with the five of swords they started um in the middle of the relationship you were fighting constantly and just to end those fights those conversations um you were going you were stepping out of the conversations just to not indulge in those these confrontational argumentative conversations um and it, it because with the five of swords the soldier is taking the swords away from the other <laughs> soldiers so they can be used in the war in the battle and you were kind of doing that you were salvaging the situation by honestly avoiding it with the sun card we are now in a speculative um distant actually distant state where we have distanced ourselves but we are speculating on the situation you are comfortable when you're not with them and um somehow you still want them but to a certain degree you are much comfortable and at peace when you're not with them or not conversing with them with the ace of swords we are coming to a decision in our mind we haven't actually discussed it yet but we know what we want and let's find out what that is with the moon card it is it's all the emotions that you feel for this person it's all the affection that you feel for them but it's also what you want it's also what how you saw this connection going as this relationship um and you might now come to a conclusion that you want this relationship you feel for them with the wheel card you might be moving to 
you might be going to them you might be moving to them even for some time like visiting them for some days and um, with the wheel of fortune of course things are happening that bring you a lot of um, happiness they things are lucky now <laughs> the fortune is with you and um, things start to happen that you realize things are not that bad in this relationship with the ten of pentacles you see a stable life with this person and you want to grow old with them and you both have to a certain degree um, passions which you um, have made in profession um, you have um, you have professional lives that are also dependent on how passionately you understand these things I'm sorry if I'm not making sense you are passionate about something that you are also <laughs> in your professional life doing all the time and you both work and you both have your own lives and that's something that you really cherish in this relationship so there's something about that you you really want this relationship because you feel they are in independent enough that they wouldn't want you all the time there's something about this with the five of wands again you both test each other's wills you both te test each other um a lot <laughs> that's um it's literally an arm wrestling thing that's happening so each of you is is looking at how the other person fares in this competition it's somewhat of a comp competitive relationship somehow with the four of pentacles you are saving up you are kind of conserving your wealth and abundance in coins so you can um, save up for a rainy day or save up for later and um, there's someone that also finds this stingy they find um, you a bit stingy right now and if they're, they're expressing it I don't know but they do feel this way with the chariot card you're moving um, and with the chariot it is the the mental um, strength that this person has they they're not in a lot of the traditional depiction of this card they don't have the reins in their hand it's there there are no reins they're moving the chariot with um, their mental power but of course it's also divinely um, guided and divinely um, it's moving by they them uh, guiding the chariot on their own and they are the divine beings sphinxes in the traditional sense and um, you are being divinely guided but also taking the reins and moving towards the things that you want you feel that this connection is divinely guided but you're also moving towards it actively but um, <laughs> by the looks of it you both need to um, <laughs> you need to handle this that you're not asserting both of, both of you are not asserting um, your wills all the time that you don't have the middle ground that you can understand each other with the lovers so, sorry the devil card yeah that, that explains itself this connection is um, a karmic connection with the karmic connection of course um, and and um, just for so, um, for you guys I'm doing another character um, interpretation from a show that I really love I'm going to be doing it soon I'm researching it right now and it's going to be exclusively about that character's relationships karmic relationship soul relationship and twin flame so I'm trying to understand that and for you in your case it is a karmic connection you both are reflecting your uh, own insecurities back to each other and that's why you are having trouble in this connection you would really uh, benefit from understanding each other and honestly communicating you both have to not just one person let's be clear about that you both have to understand what your shortcomings are in this connection so you can bring the best of yourselves in this connection and there's a lot of addiction involved as well with the devil card you might, both might, might be addicted to this connection the pull and push of this connection is addictive somehow to you so you might need to evaluate that with the nine of chalices you are coming uh, together might be a family that's coming together and um, meeting each other for an event or an occasion 
you are reconnecting with your family and it's really a wholesome gathering. You feel reconnected with all of them and you are going to be experiencing um, an nostalgic familiar relationship, familiar, sorry, a nostalgic feeling for um, a lack of um, a, an emotional stability in your life. You're going to be wanting a long-term relationship with this person that would be in invoked by just meeting your family, seeing your other relationships that have a family and it's going to be enforcing that in you. You would be reconnecting with this person based on how you feel that you want a life um, in with love in it, with family in it. And um, you might need to, of course, understand that before going into conversing with this person because it's not based on how you feel about them it's based on how you um, feel that familiarity that you want and the love that you want you do care about this person um i don't know where i'm going with this with the six of swords um there are knives at your back that's yeah that's what i was getting towards um you feel a sense of how they don't understand you. They cut you down when you um, express your feelings and that's what I was getting towards. You You were in your head about how you wanted this relationship to come, um, come out and um, you weren't really looking at it. And um, the, thing is, the thing is that there are cycles and patterns in your relationship that keep coming back with this person there there are um yeah things that you need to work on with the justice card it is balance that this relationship requires both of you have to balance it out the good has to be balanced out with the, the, the sorry the bad has to be balanced out with the good so actually the good has to be better it has to be more to for this relationship to work and for you both to understand that you are happy in this relationship. But of course, that's, that's just how it is. Um, with the Justice card, things are going to, of course, um, happen in, they're going to come out in your favor if you're working to, on them, working towards them actively. Whatever you're going to be working on, that's where your fruit is going to, um, really grow and um, you're going to be get, getting the fruit after you work for it so just work hard for what you want and you will get it that's the message here you the message very clearly is you need to work on the things that you you're having problems in with the four swords yeah that you are feeling left out in the cold so we are going in circles i'm going to see the messages from your guides what we have for you with the sacred ibis there is learning that we need to do there's learning and um, it's about how to handle um, issues in your in your relationship how you can find a middle ground where you both feel secure and you you're not feeling aggravated by the other person and triggered because you do have similar traumas with the horse card, um, it's freedom that you require. You want liberation from the the bad things in this relationship. But um, how are we going to do that? <laughs> With the gorilla card, it is peace. You are going to be taking time off from this connection for a while to find your center, find yourself, and find seeking answers from within yourself and um then stepping back into this but just yeah just be aware of what the patterns are in this connection so whatever your questions are let's see what the answers are to your questions let's and if you want to think about your questions please do pause the video and let's see of course the charm casting at the end Okay, 
to the first question of yours we have the star card it is telling you that whatever you are hoping for for you're desiring for it is definitely possible for you to achieve it you are on the right side of um, manifesting this thing into the world and the universe is telling you that it is the time for you divinely guided time for this thing to happen and you just have to wish it into existence and it will come true so that's really wonderful with the high priestess to the second question answer is a yes and of course this was a yes too with the high priestess it is telling you that you have the answers to your questions whatever you're seeking you have the answers within you you just have to understand the wisdom things have happened um, and you know you've experienced them you just need to reevaluate what has happened and understand that that's how the patterns are in your relationship you know the situation very well because it keeps happening so whatever is happening whatever your question is you know the answer to the third question it is queen of chalices and um, it is telling you that you are emotionally evolved enough to come out of this really well you know how to handle it this person is someone that you care about a whole lot you are willing to do a lot for them you love them and um, that's what you're doing you are going to be stepping out of your comfort zone to make this person realize that you care about them and in terms of a yes or no it is definitely a yes so there you have it and now charm casting for you let's see what we have okay so we have the snowflake the message here is that this person is unique they are different from anyone that you've met and you've connected with them on um, a level that you haven't before and you find them to be so completely different from anyone that you've known that you're attracted to the side of them so if you want this person and you have them already just make it work try to find 